My dear sister, I left you suddenly and without warning. For that and so much more to come, I apologize. I didn't board the Helios knowing what would happen, only that pursuing my research could change the world. And we did! Just not in the way I'd imagined. Not yet, anyway. I want to explain everything now, so that you'd see that there is nothing to fear. You've always tried to protect me, my big sister, but this was meant to be. It's now my turn to protect you, if only so that things unfold the way they are meant to. Time and necessity has kept us apart, but that is about to change. We need you here aboard the Helios with me. I've enclosed a receiver, and as the name implies, it can receive signals through which we will communicate. I know a little of this will make any sense right now, but I also know that you will keep your promise. I love you. Your sister, Ada. Pretty light on details there, Ada. You leave without warning and now need me aboard the Helios? What aren't you telling me? Great Helios would be more... busy? I guess Ada didn't tell anyone I was coming.
Seems like I'll have to let myself in. Distributing electricity to half of the world, and yet still hungers for that other half. <sighs> Quarantine? What have you got yourself into, Ada? Great! Security override. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll have to disable it. Hello? Any anyone there? Thanks for the warm welcome. Now what have you done with my sister? Confirmed Edison agents? Seems like their rivalry is alive and well.
That should do it. Now to find Ada. Cryptic. Who was this message for? Archer calling any survivors on this frequency. Is anyone out there? What the? I repeat, this is lead Ada. researcher Archer calling for any survivors Anything? on this frequency. Is anyone? Ada. Rose? Ada! Holy shit, Rose! Ada! What the hell are you doing here? Wait, what? Ada, you told me to come. I've got your letter right here. That... that doesn't make any sense. I didn't write you any letter, Rose. But, but never mind. There's been an accident. Or sabotage. It, it doesn't matter. We need to get off this ship. That's what the quarantine is about? Ada, what the hell is going on? Rose, listen very carefully. We really need to leave. It's spreading all... Ada! Ada! Ah, the Helios. Named after the sun itself, a source of almost unlimited power. This is a safe space. 
space for those with an open mind and a talent for the scientific arts to expand the limits of human endeavor. Away from prying eyes and cynical money men, here all that matters is progress as we reach for the very stars themselves. It is our floating home and the cradle of mankind's technological evolution. You walk within the very future of the human race. in the middle of the ocean. What could possibly go wrong? What the? Uh... Hello? Anyone? I can hear you, but what the hell am I doing here? If you didn't write the letter, who did? It's in your handwriting and everything. This is gonna sound weird, but it might have been me. Not present me, but future me. I know how crazy that sounds, but I promise I can explain everything. Let's rendezvous in my apartment. From there we'll escape together, okay? Escape from what, exactly? It's not safe here, Rose. It's spreading throughout the ship. I'll tell you everything when we meet up in my apartment. You need to grab a Faraday keycard from the check-in desk there in the main hall. They're kept in a wall-mounted safe. The combination should be written down somewhere nearby. The keycard will automatically take the elevator to the right district. Did you get all that? Yeah. Open safe. Get keycard. Use elevator. Meet in your apartment. I, I got it. Great. I won't be able to reach you on the radio for a bit, so just get there and stay safe, okay? Fine. But when you get there, I'm expecting some answers. Deal? Deal. Oh, and sis? Even if I can't explain why or how you got here, really am grateful that you're here. See you soon. See you soon, sis. <laughs> that must be the safe. Now, to get it open? Bingo. A key card for the elevator. <gasps> oh, 
Right. Hope this works. Ugh. What is that smell? Locked. Great. apartment district yet. Yeah. This door <laughs> won't open. Easy there, champ. Try putting your considerable weight behind it. Butchered, Ada. Who or what did this? We don't we don't know yet. But right now we need to get you safe. Make your way to the center of the apartment complex. There's a generator that will open the gates. Focus on that for now. I'm on my way. I'll broadcast you again shortly. Be careful, sis. I'll try. listed here. Are these visions from the past? That must be it. 
Let's see about getting some lights on in here.
Archer Ada. Aha! Alpha Quarter. Now, I just need to find a way inside. Listen, buddy, like I said before, we will do what we can. Who are you talking to? Ada! Oh, thank God. Yeah, some guy named Aubrey was broadcasting on our frequency. Said he was stuck in the engine halls and mentioned something about exotic energy. I'd like some answers. Rose, I'd rather explain it in person. It's no, not... Ada, what now you... is a great time to tell me what the hell is going on here. Fine, fine. I'll be brief. Listen. We discovered quantum resonance anomalies that prove the one electron theory. Meaning that every electron in the universe is the same one moving back and forth through time. So, naturally, we began to consider a second time dimension attached to the Euclidean analogy of Minkowski space. Now, I know what you're thinking. Ada. What about the Thompson conjecture? Ada. Well, Ada. that's... Ada, 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 stop. It's me you're talking to. None of that nerd talk. Right. Uh, okay. A large experiment went boom. It ruptured a current of time and dangerous things have flooded through it. These things have been killing us. <sighs> all of us. We've tried to contain it all, but... The point is, we need to leave. Did you find my apartment? Yeah, but the Alpha Porter is locked. I can't get in. Don't suppose you keep a spare keycard somewhere. Shit. No, wait! Yes, I do! My friend Eliza has a pair. God, I, I hope she's okay. She's on the ground floor, Gamma Quarter. Gamma? Mm. Then her entrance is covered in a web of live electricity cables. I can't get near it. Can you turn off the power source? The override code should be written in the Epsilon guest quarter. Easy peasy. All right. I'll get the override code and you'll be able to generate it. Easy peasy. Listen, I'm entering another shielded section, so I'll lose my broadcast ability again. But I'll try to hurry. I'm getting closer.
There we are. It is key cards. Let's go. Aubrey King. Can't be that many Aubreys on board. Could there? Yeah, this is Ada's room, all right. Never did learn to clean her room properly. Taming a new kind of fire to raise mankind beyond its material limitations. Oh, you always did dream big, Ada.
For example, you said a future you wrote me the letter that brought me here. What does that even mean? My research is about exploiting loopholes in the flow of time. So a future me will write that letter and somehow send it back in time to get you here on the... Helios. Holy shit! And I think I know how! Listen, Rose, I need you to grab me some very important research. There's a secret room in my room. You find it while I make my way through another laboratory department. I'll give you a clue. It's center stage. That's it? You're just going to leave me to figure this out on my own? Have fun! The Helios. We'll get together. We'll have a few laughs. Ugh. Is it? This is the research that will allow the letter to go back in time? Mm. I thought it would be... thicker? How's it going? Pretty good. Although, I'm afraid I found an error in your fancy calculations. <laughs> that would be the day. What did you find? Well... You've got massless gnome vectors intersecting with relativistic spoon dimensions. None of what you just said makes any sense whatsoever. Makes just as much sense to me as this notebook. These equations will allow you to send the letter back in time? Yes, and since you received it, I've technically already done it. Or will do it, depending on how you look at it. Comforting to know that I'll at least live long enough to write it. But the research means so much more. It could do so much more for all of us. Promise me you'll protect it. Promise me. Fine, I promise. But now what? I've 
divided the research into two pieces. You only have half of it. I'm on my way to pick up the other half. I'm just gonna go through the bio labs now and we'll... What the... Damn it! Rose, I'm trapped! Rose, I'm trapped in the bio labs! Rose... Rose, can you hear me? Oops! Ada! Possible. As I'm sure you are aware, the Helios is under strict quarantine, and for that quarantine to be effective, I cannot have you and lead researcher Archer be opening containment doors all over this ship. The damage already caused is severe. I cannot allow you to make it worse. Therefore, the both of you must remain at your current locations until this situation is resolved. You are locking us up? We will be sitting ducks for whatever is out there. Rest assured that I am doing everything that I can to remedy this situation. Right. How's that working out, huh? A ship full of dead scientists. The great Helios falling apart at the seams. Where's your unlimited energy now? Lockdown gate came down. Can you open it? <coughs> About that. Can I count on you to come and help me out if I do this? My situation is uh, slightly more complicated. Aubrey, the door. Please. Pretty please. Go get your sister. I understand. Family first and all that. But I've got family too. I'm still trapped. Help me, and I'll help you. Okay, Aubrey. Deal. Help me get to my sister, and we will come to get you too. I promise. Scout's on it. Excellent. So I need you to stand away from the lockdown gate while I work my magic. Let me know when you found some decent cover, okay? Sure. Hang on.
Aubrey, shut up, shut up, shut up. I just saw a man get gutted by some nutcase with a knife. Oh no, that's not fake. Get me out of here. Uh, okay, you get to the rail station entrance while I get everything figured out. Can you take me to the bio labs while you're at it? That's where my sister is trapped. If she can't come to me, I'll go to her. Just get to the rail station. radioed in by now. The lockdown is likely blocking her ability to transmit. She's probably fine. So, is now a good time to ask how Ludwig knows your name? Maybe he mistook me for someone else. I'd rather not think about it. Still, he did know your name. So he must be somewhat aware of what is... Uh, Aubrey, help! I'm on it! Sit tight! Still moving, Aubrey. Stop the car! I'm trying! I'm trying! Aubrey! Jump! Jump, Rose! Aubrey, that could have gone bad. 
A second later. So, where am I? I've got some good news and some bad news. What do you want first? Bad news first, always. Okay, well, I thought I would be able to take you all the way to your sister in the Bible Lambs, but that obviously won't happen. The good news is I know exactly where you need to go to get there. Also, I can provide you with this. The light at the end of the tunnel! <laughs> you get it? A light at the end. Anyway, just follow the tunnel until you reach the station up ahead. That sounds easy enough. I will go towards the light. Ha! <laughs> Great! I'm going to fix a few things here on my end. I'll check back in a bit. See, Benny? I told you she'd get it. Go towards the light. <laughs> Rose, you made it. Aubrey, yeah, I'm at the station. Where do I go from here? You're at the tech labs. I've already rerouted power to the section you're about to enter. I took the liberty of overloading a few select doors to help guide you towards the bio labs. Simply go with the flow. But bear in mind that I couldn't get them all, so watch your step. Okay. Anything else I should know about this place? Well, it's probably not going to be pretty, so you know. Hold your nose. Benny smelled while he was alive, but let me tell you, decomposing flesh has a poignant odor all of its own. Isn't that right, Benny? Yeah? He's like a tulip of death. That's kind of morbid. You sure you're okay, Aubrey? I'm using my best friend's dismembered arm as a back scratcher. Of course I'm not okay. Just continue through the tech labs. I'll be back in a bit. Huh.
which triggered a quarantine that didn't manage to contain the danger. Fine, but there are too many bodies for one stab-crazy psycho. I'm still missing something. Rosie, and what the devil is that terrible noise? Uh, yeah, about that. Could you unpower this lightning machine ahead of me? Ah, okay, I see what the problem is, but... Sorry, Rose, it isn't responding to my commands. Great, so what do I do? The thing you do best, my dear, you run! Just this time, avoiding the bolts of electricity at the same time! Isn't there a way to turn this thing off from in here, then? I was getting to that. On the bottom floor, there are emergency overrides. There are two panels, and you will have to enable them both. That should calm the sucker right down. I'll check back in a bit, Rosie. This noise is giving Benny a headache. <laughs> What's that? Rose, please come in. Rose, 
Ada! Rose! Oh, thank God! Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. W what happened? I've been worried sick. My transmissions were being jammed, but I found a way around it. I assume Nicola got you locked up, too. Yeah, but I got out. I'm almost at the biolabs. You're still there, right? Wait, you got out of the lockdown? How? I got help from that Aubrey guy. He's trapped, too. And he saved my life, so we need to get him before we leave. I promised him. Of course, of course we will. But first, the research. They hold the keys to everything. Right. Did you manage to get the other half? No, it's in the theater. We'll pick it up together right after you get this god surgery. Of all of the places Ada. to get locked up. I'm losing your signal again. Ada! Ada.
quarantine? Exo? Or whatever they call it? the door. Well, they aren't exactly subtle. Wherever exotic energy goes, they follow. Not that hard to track if you know what you mean. <laughs> That's three times I owe you. Thanks, Harvey. So, do you know where the biologist your sister is at? Yeah. She's in a surgery room. Am I close? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I'm opening all the doors I can for you to get them out. There's an observation room right above the surgery. You should be able to see her from there. Anyway, go and say hi to your sister. The path should be open. I will, Aubrey. Thank you again.
animal experimentation, weather control, time manipulation? Is there any research they didn't do here? Language. Rose! Oh my god. My big sister is here. My big sister is here. Yes, <laughs> she is. And we, dear sister, are getting out of here. Come on, how do I get to you? There's a door on your right. Short corridor, stairwell. You can't miss it. I will be right down. Uh, Ada? I didn't do anything. Ada! Get out! Get out now! I... I, I can't. Rose... I... I can't! Rose, listen to me. It's okay. Really, it's okay. You're here for me. I will love you forever for that. But I need you to do one thing. Get my research, Rose. Save it. Go to the theater and get the second notebook. Together they hold the keys to everything. You can fix it. <laughs> Promise me, Rose! Promise me! Not like this! <laughs> Promise me, Rose! No! Ada! No! I, pro I promise. <laughs> Answer me! Rose! It's now or never, Rose. They're coming. I'm running out of doors to close. I don't care. She's gone, Aubrey. I was too late. But she's gone. I know, I know. But you made a promise, Rose. Scouts honor and everything. If you don't leave now, they will get you too. Promise. Come on, get up and get out. The left side door, go! the physics department. Once you've gotten me out of here... I'm not going to the engine halls, Aubrey. But... but you said... you promised. I know, Aubrey, I, I know. And I will stay true to my word. But my sister asked me to do one last thing for her. I have to do this first, Aubrey. Family first. I understand. Where do you need to go? The theater. How do I get there? Get that physics department. While I work out how to get you to the theater. I'll be right back. I'm here. Something is burning, though. Oh, yeah. That would be the reactor core. This is ground zero where it all began. 
turns out the fire we lit just kept on burning. It's been consuming the Helios from within for days. Don't breathe the fumes. Highly inadvisable. Easier said than done. <coughs> you had a way for me to get to the theater? I do, but you're not going to like it. Come on. Hit me. <coughs> you see where all the smoke and fire is coming from? Well, we're going to walk you straight through the middle of it. <coughs> I hate this place. It gets worse. The reactor core is shielded, so the receiver won't work once you're down there. You'll have to traverse the flames on your own. I'm going to monitor the exotic energy spread behind you, see if I can contain it. I'll talk to you on the other side. Okay. Any last minute advice? Don't burn up. I get to it. You said there was an elevator? Of course. It's right up ahead. Bringing it to you now. What do you need to do there, anyway? I need to find a notebook. Rose. I cannot fathom the sorrow you feel. That you have my sincerest sympathies. But I've saved your life a handful of times already. I think I've earned to know what this is about. Right, Aubrey. I'm sorry. I'm looking for a notebook that my sister hid somewhere in the theater. It contained her new research, and I promised her I'd guard it. The entire ship recognized her brilliance. Nikola included. And 
now she's gone. The elevator is here, Rose. where this notebook might be hidden? It's a fairly large theater, you know. Afraid not. But how big can it be, really? Oh. That's just the lobby. Wait until you see the auditorium. I'll leave you to search while I resolve some issues with the weather tech devices. I'll uh, check in with you later, all right? Sure. This might take a while. I am terribly sorry that Tower of Grades demanded my attention far longer than I anticipated. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all, sir. I'm still learning how to best get around here on the Heliums. So many floors, so much to see. Quite so, but I have saved the best and last of these. The Helios Grand Theater. Shall we? By all means. This, Miss Archers, is the Helios Grand Helios Grand. Wow. I'm glad you like it. We have a wonderful lineup of performances this year. And if you look closely, up there, that is your private balcony, from where you'll be able to watch them. The balcony used to be my own, but I insist you take it as a welcome aboard gift and as a token of my appreciation for your research. What? I don't... I don't know what to say, sir. Oh, it is the least I can do, and please, call me Nicole. Thank you. But what will people say? Won't people gossip? Me, sitting in your balcony? It's not mine, not anymore. And people will always gossip. It interests me little. Come now, let me show you the view. Always wanted to see her perform. Balcony. Would you hide your research there, Ada? It was merely a matter of building it. But enough about me. What about you, Ada? What about your family? You had a sister, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Rose. Rose Archer. And if you think I'm stubborn, wait till you meet my sister. <laughs> what does she do? She's a journalist. Is that so? Is she any good? The best. Ah, here we are. I do hope it will provide you with much joy while aboard the Helios. It's wonderful. I really cannot thank you enough. Nonsense, my dear. Just continue to pursue your theories. That will be gratitude plenty. I, I, I truly believe you are onto something revolutionary, Ada. It's just missing that final spark. I hope the Helios will provide the resources required for us to find it. Because when we do, 
We will have changed the world forever. To changing the world. To changing the world. To changing the world. Not here. Not here. Come on. There's, there's, there's a secret room in my room. You find it while I make my way through another laboratory department. I'll give you a clue. It's center stage. Th that's it. You're just going to leave me to figure this out on my own? Have fun! Center stage. Holy shit! Ada, I hear you! I still don't get these visions of Ada. Or how the radio played our conversation from the past. But it's like she's still here. Leading me onwards. All right, center stage. How do I get up there? Okay, so if I was super secret research, where would I go?
Been. I could have used you like five minutes ago. You found the notebook, didn't you? I bet you did! Right? Right? Yes, Aubrey. I got the notebook. And then I ran into Ludwig. Oh no. Are you okay? I'm fine, Aubrey, and thankfully Ludwig took a face full of fire, so that's one problem less. after another. What's next? The bad news? I'm lost. I, I think there's an elevator here, but I can't really tell. It's too dark. Aha! Not a problem. Pay attention. Anything yet? No. Nothing. Wait! Now! Aubrey! Now! Out of business, getting you that elevator. Fantastic, Aubrey. Thank you again for everything. I'm coming to make good of my promise. You have no idea how good that sounds. Uh, wait, let me get the doors. Oh, god damn it. What's wrong? There's. Ugh, gross. There's the body of a man crucified against the elevator wall. Is there a different elevator you can send up? I'd rather not. It's... it's the only one. It's the only one, Rose. I hate this place. I hate this place so much. <sighs> one leaf in. One thorn out. Thanks for doing this, Rose. Yeah. I had a family, but I don't. That was a lie. I'm a liar, Rose. I'm sorry. That's okay, Aubrey. <sighs> Glad to hear it, because I'm afraid you've got a bit of work to do before you can get to my end of the engine halls. But of course I do. What a surprise. Where do I go? Make your way to the local engine hall. You'll have to find a way to the other side of it. Yes! The power coupling, Spenny! Hey, Rose. I gotta sort this out. I'll be back in a jiffy. Just don't... Don't what? Aubrey? Aubrey! Great.
Aubrey, can you do something about the power coming and going? I thought you had that area covered. Uh, there's a bit of a hiccup with this. Uh, with a large electromagnetic distribution coil, it seems to be pulsating. Uh, yeah, that means nothing to me, Aubrey. Speak plainly. <laughs> Rosie, we are harvesting electricity from time itself. This shit is complicated, okay? You just find a way forward and don't die. Ah, great plan, Aubrey. Your best work yet. You hear that, Betty? Rose is giving me attitude. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still here, Aubrey. I made it across the engine hall. What now? Up ahead is hydraulics and pressure control. The distribution coil is boiling the storage tanks, so you're going to have to reduce the pressure in order to get the security doors to open. Find the pressure valves, Rose. Turning them should bring the pressure down. Okay. Find the valves to reduce pressure. Got it. Doing great, Rose. You're almost here. Okay. Talk to you in a bit.
Aubrey. Hero of the Aubrey. company. The heat. Your radio? Aubrey. Aubrey? Years of... Aubrey! Sensors here. The security doors should be open. Just one more hurdle, and then we can get the hell out of this ship. All right, one more hurdle. What's up next? Well, you remember that malfunction and supersized electromagnetic distribution coil? It's. You know what? Some things 
Good to know. You should be able to see me. I'm in the tall building to your right. See me in the window there, Rose. Anyway, you see that building on fire in the distance? That's where you'll find the emergency deactivation switch. Wait, all the way over there? At the other end? Yep. You want me to sprint there while Electromag something or other regularly fries the entire place? Yep. <sighs> I've been thinking about this part. If it's alright with you, I'll open the door on the left and just hide in the corner for a while, okay? Of course. I, I wouldn't want you screaming in my ear anyway. <laughs>
How should I know? I, I pulled the damn thing. Did it work? Just a moment. I think you did it, Rose. Oh, thank God. I can't believe it! You did it! Woohoo! I am going to live! Hey, 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 hey. So, Aubrey, Aubrey, how about we finally get off this godforsaken thing? I'll do the Take the metal walkways on your left. They should lead you up here to the control center. I know I've said thank you already, but it would be nice to finally be able to do it in person. On my way, Aubrey. See you in a bit. Come on, Aubrey. Let's go already. Tried to tell you. I really did. I'm a liar, Rose. I've heard everything, every word, since you came aboard. From your first conversation with Ada to the last words she ever spoke. I even listened in on your conversation with Aubrey. Nicola. What? It wasn't Tesla's lockdown that was jamming your sister's ball last. That was another lie. It was me! Why? Because she took everything from me! Everything! I had his attention! I had his respect! But she took it all. I used to be someone aboard the ship. But now... Now the time has come to take back. Right. Starting with these. If you do this, I will kill you. Is that a promise, Rosie? Scout's honor. <laughs> Cute. You forget that just like I led the exotic energy to the surgery room of your sister, so too am I leading exotic energy to you right here. You better hurry. Those things will be here any minute. Benny here will keep you company. I understand. Those things to say today claim what was mine. One week in, one long out.
going to be okay. They're gone. It's going to be okay. Ada once warned me about the stubbornness of her sister. As always, I should have listened. I did not foresee you being able to journey halfway across the Helios even despite my own efforts to prevent it. And because of that failure... M my failure... Ada is lost to us. Aubrey opened the doors that has allowed the contamination to spread. He is currently on his way to the tower, where he will attempt to use your sister's research to close the rift. But I fear that he will be unable to grasp the immensity of Ada's work, and thus make a bad situation much worse. I am therefore on my way to do what I can to fix this, and in the process, reclaim Ada's research. I would tell you to stay where you are, in a relative safety and rest, but I am fairly sure that won't happen. Damn right. We may be too late to save Ada's life, but we are not too late to save her legacy. I will be in touch. Search, and I did. I promised I'd get him out, and I did. Now, what has all that work given me? A broken rib? And a concussion. At least I promised Aubrey I'd kill him. So let's see how that goes. This was meant to be. I know a little of this will make any sense right now, but I also know that you will keep your promise. I love you, your sister. I'll be back for you. It's going to work, Ada. I promise. You're right, Ada. None of this makes any sense right now. 
What were those flashes? Past? Present? Or future? And when did I carry you here? So many questions. Still, I will keep my promise. I will get your research back. Hopefully, they hold the answers. Rose, how are your wounds? I'm afraid I'm not much of a doctor, but I did what I could to mend- I'm fine. If this is some weak attempt at keeping me from reclaiming Ada's research, then think again. On the contrary, I'm counting on your assistance. In fact, so is Ada. What do you mean Ada is counting on me? Ada is gone. Ada is dead. But she isn't gone. Her research into multiple time dimensions and exposure to the rift has changed things. Irreversibly so. She has triggered an event cascade that even I am trying to fully comprehend. But her research holds the keys to everything. So she said. Just help me get those notebooks back. That I shall. We will coordinate on how to best deal with Uber once you reach the tower. Tesla out. The generator only stays on for a limited amount of time. Fine. I'll be faster. Almost there. 
The station should be just up ahead. up there. Rose, you're still alive. Hey, you know you're proving to be much harder to kill than your sister. You're still not even a tenth of the scientist Ada was. Oh, don't you worry, Rose. 
Rosie, I don't need to be her equal to reclaim the spot she stole from me. All I need is a bit more time and a little less interruption from the relatives of dead people. Aubrey, we have unfinished business. Revenge must wait. I need you to fix the starboard power circuits. To your left, hurry! Oscillation. 
Never mind. Just make all lights go red before pulling the auxiliary power switch. All lights red. Down here now! Stairs on the right side! Go!
tower fell. Explanations are too hard. Many variables. The research you carry, it can change everything. You're at the entrance to my private quarters. There's an emergency escape pod waiting ahead. Spin the globe to access the hidden elevator. It will take you down to my evacuation sub. Go! <laughs>
Archer. Miss Archer, is the research safe? How did... <laughs> Never mind. Yes, it's right here. Why? The research. I understand it now. They hold the keys to everything. We can bring her back. We can bring Ada back. to the sun.